pretty excited today to show you how I make raw goat milk ice cream. And it's really pretty simple. And the thing is to understand that it is raw, we're using the uh, raw uh, farm raised egg yolks and we're using raw goat milk. Some people can pasteurize the batter and that is totally up to you. It'll turn out just fine either way. So I have all the ingredients right here. The uh, sweetener I'm gonna use is monk fruit erythritol combination and a little bit of allulose, and then arrowroot powder, a lot of vanilla, and eggs, and two and a half cups of raw goat milk. So pretty much I've got everything ready. So I'm just going to add things into the bowl. And in the meantime, I've had the ice cream bowl in the freezer getting very frozen. Some people might want to chill this batter before you put it into the ice cream maker because that will help you get into a nice frozen batter before it melts that ice cream bowl because that can be a thing. So two and a half cups of raw goat milk, one cup of the sweetener. We use half an avocado and that helps give some texture to and substance to the um, ice cream. One and a half tablespoons of vanilla and one tablespoon of arrowroot powder. Now I'm gonna mix this up a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put it into the blender because avocado. Okay, so you don't want to blend this too long. You want to get it just blended enough to get the avocado broke up because the more you blend it, the, you know, the more chill you're going to take out of it. And we really want to have a good chill on our batter. So we love this Cuisinart um, ice cream maker. It's been doing a great job for us. And we have two bowls and that's the trick because if you want to make another batch the next day these take a while to freeze okay so what i'm going to do with this is i'm actually going to put half of the blender batch in here it seems to really come into its own better that way and then i can do the next half either tomorrow or you know later today if i want some more ice cream And another ingredient that I like to add, Mark loves this, is about three drops of peppermint. And my mother taught me to never pour over the bowl, because then you might get more than you want. So I have found that using three drops of peppermint is just about the perfect amount. It's easy to get too much peppermint in there, and that's my suggestion. Goat milk ice cream does not sit in the freezer well. We only make what we're gonna consume that day. So what I'm gonna do with the extra batter is I'm gonna put it in a container, I'm gonna put it in a refrigerator, and that way I can have some again tomorrow. All right, so it's really looking good and really looking ready in here. You're going to notice that the ice cream is tumbling around. It's got some structure, and that's about as frozen as it's going to get while it's in there. So now is a great time to add chocolate chips. Mark loves chocolate chips in there. I prefer them not in there, so... You can do whatever you want. I add peanuts. Um, you can have uh, chocolate syrup. Everyone knows what to do with ice cream. I don't know why I'm telling you. So anyway, let's dish it up. All right, look at that. So we're going to do a little bit for Mark and a lot for Trisha. <laughs> Just kidding. 
So you never want to get your fingers wet and touch the inside of this bowl. It's very cold. You'll get your fingers stuck in there. And so here, Mark, what do you think? I'm ready. You ready? Yep. Do you want this yep. spoon? No, I'll take that one. Hey, the only thing you guys that I noticed that Trisha didn't mention that's important to realize is this is literally sin-free dessert. So it's loaded with fat and it is just all good for you stuff. So there's no sugar in here and it's like a sin-free dessert that's good for you. So I encourage you to, to get you some. It is delicious. We love it and eat it all the time. And if you want to be sinful, get the real sugar in there, but we don't recommend it. <laughs> Take care. Hope you enjoyed Trisha. She's a gem and she makes some killer goat milk ice cream. Love you, honey. Thanks, babe.